Hello, hiya, it's Tracy here helping you to be heard, be seen and stand out so that you can attract your fabulous clients. Now, a lot of things that crop up when I'm with clients or noticing online is that people are saying that, you know, I'm, I'm constantly being active on social media. I'm told to, to be where my clients are and, and where they would expect me to be so that when they go looking for me, I'm there. And Tracy, I'm doing all that, but no matter what I'm saying or what I'm doing, still isn't getting me the clients. It's not even getting me inquiries, it's not even getting comments or likes or shares, nothing. And I feel like I'm just talking down a blooming wind tunnel because nobody can hear me and all this online noise. Um, what the hell am I doing wrong? So one of the things I'd like you to consider is are you suffering from a curse? Are you suffering from the curse of knowledge? Now, when you think, let's look at a scale of, of 1 to 10. So where you are in terms of your areas of expertise, your knowledge, your skills, your experiences, on a scale of 1 to 10, it's possible that you're going to be on a scale of 7 plus. What it is that you know and experience that you've got in your chosen industry, your area of expertise. And when you think about, you know, you're out there to, to make a difference, you're out there to make a change for someone, to help someone, to, you know, make something easier for them, to give them a solution to a problem that they have, where they are is lower down the scale of, of 1 to 10. So they could be anything between, you know, a, a 1 to, to a 4. So it's a bit like, you know, me turning up to a lecture on rocket science, you know, and um, not having an absolute clue. I'm bringing in my, you know, my, my old grade science that I did 20 odd years ago. And someone who is a rocket scientist is, is talking over my head, literally over my head, because that's where rockets fly, isn't it? But that's the level that they're talking to me at. I ain't going to understand it. I'm not going to have a clue. Whereas if he was to kind of come down to my level and explain you know, about power and thrust and, and speed, I've got a much more chance of going, oh, God, yeah, I get it now, wonderful. So if I've got any more rocket science questions, you're going to be the guy that I'm going to sit down with a cup of tea and ask and know that you're going to make rocket science dead easy peasy and simple for me. So are you kind of doing that when you're talking to your audience in this busy online world that we are in right now? Chances are that you are. Chances are that on a scale of 1 to 10, you're a 7 plus, whereas your audience, your ideal client, is, you know, further down that scale. They don't know what they don't know. So have a little look about how you're talking, how you're communicating with them. And, you know, take a wee step back. You know, go to where they are like right now. Use the language, the words, their experiences that they're describing. When you're talking, when you're talking out there, be a human being that's been where they are, you know what it's like to be there, and, and tell them in their words that you are the person for them. You can help them get past the problem that they are actually having right now. And I know, I get it, you know, you've maybe retrained to do what you do. You've maybe got years and years of vast experience, and you know big words, you know technical terms for things. Your client really, really doesn't. They haven't even gone as far as you. So please, 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 on a scale of 1 to 10, look at what your marketing is saying. Look at what you're putting out there from your website to your Facebook posts to your Twitter accounts to your videos to your blogs. On a scale of 1 to 10, where are you meeting your clients? If you're at the other end of the scale and the client's at the other, you're never going to have a conversation with the two of you. You're never going to meet in the middle and work together and both have a win-win situation. So that's my top tip for today. Look at where you are on a scale of 1 to 10. And are you so far away from your client that no matter how much you talk to them out there, you're never actually going to meet up in the middle and have that all-important chat and work together. So that's my quick video for today. I say quick video, it's probably about five minutes. But go on, get chatting out there, but make sure you're talking at the right level for your client to connect with you. Fabulous day. Bye for now.